Welcome back to another Rose City Reptiles video. I'm Joey, this is Rose City Reptiles, and in today's video, we have a lot planned. First, we're gonna be checking out the newly hatched Bakeri Iguanas, the Tinosaura Bakeri. They're looking fantastic. We're gonna do a little feeding with them. We're preparing that salad right now. After that, we're gonna have an update on Rose, the Rhino Iguana. And last but not least, we're gonna be feeding some of the juvenile tegus that are waking up from brumation, the meat mix that we made in our last video. So. So, let's get started. All right, so we just fixed the salad for the baker iguanas. We're gonna go ahead and feed them real quick. Today, we're just feeding some collard greens. It came in kind of quick with it. Anybody want some? They love the grub pie. They've taken to that really well. I like to fight over it. <laughs> so I like to feed them on a big plate like this, give them lots of room. Sometimes I'll even put in two plates so they don't fight too much. But yeah, the baker I are doing really great. These guys have been fantastic to raise. And we will have them available. We're just waiting for the weather to warm up. But if you're interested in one, you can contact us through our website. Um, you can send us a message, text us, and let us know that you're interested in one and we can reserve one for you. But they are seriously doing so well. Easy to care for and really personable pet. All right guys, I'm gonna set this plate down. Here is the beautiful mom to those baker eye babies. We've got two females here and a male. And you can see, this is how big they get. I don't handle them that often. They are just amazing pets. Like, I'm seriously, some of my favorite that I have here. They're really, really calm, really easy to handle and a great size and just beautiful. You see the males get, they're just, they're so nice. And you can see just how calm she's doing. Um, you know, and when they're outside, you can really see just how their beautiful colors. They, they have like this beautiful blue color to them, but it just stands out so much more when they're outside and they get a nice fresh shed. But you can just, they're really beautiful. They breed easily in captivity. They're just amazing personalities. Well, she's back here. This is Rose, the rhino iguana. We named her Rose because a subscriber recommended it. I really liked it. Um, and she had that nice peach colored head when we first got her. And she still does sometimes when, when she sheds, but she's at her favorite spot. She likes to climb up on my shoulder and hang out there anytime I get her out of the enclosure. <laughs> we got her down off my shoulder. Maybe she'll start chilling now. But she has been just a total pleasure to keep. Um, the first eight months or so, or the first little bit was completely hands off. Um, but you know, these guys live for a long time and I was in it for the long haul and just been working with her slowly every day. and. She's doing really great. She would have never allowed this at the beginning, just like getting her out and handling her. But she's doing fantastic. Rose, the rhino iguana. Just wanted to give you guys an update on her, let you see how she's doing, how she's growing, and really just like how our relationship has evolved. And it's been fantastic. It's a really rewarding pet to own. Um, like I said earlier, they live for a long time. That's one of the many things that really drew me in towards them. And um, yeah, I just wanted a lizard that I could bond with for a, for a long time. Then I also like the ease of their diet. They're 
fairly easy to care for and to feed, especially whenever I already have tons of tortoises that I'm feeding. Um, so yeah, excellent pet, really rewarding, and we're getting close. We're getting there. We've been working on it. It's beautiful. Here's the other Baker Eye female being a little more wiggly, which I wanted you guys to see. But still, very easy to handle. Pretty tame. Her babies are right over there looking at her. <laughs> but yeah, these guys are really smart. Um, but yeah, th this one's just a little bit more wiggly than, than the other one, a little more flighty. But still, easy to handle. Amazing size, just great little spiny tail iguanas. Okay, so in this video, we have fed the Baker Eye Iguanas. We've caught you guys up on the Rhino Iguana Rose. And you know what? I have one more thing I need to do before I am done in here. And that is feed off some of the meat mix we made in the last video. So if you guys haven't seen that video, I'll put a card right here at the top of the screen and go watch it as soon as this video is done. Um, but what we're going to do right now is we're going to go ahead and offer some of the juvenile tegus, that meat mix that we made. All right, I got a couple bags here, already thawed out, ready to go. I'm gonna prepare it and then we'll feed some of these guys here. She's gonna jump out if I'm not careful. But this is our annery female. Let's go ahead and set her. That's the meat mix that we made in yesterday's video. You can see, <laughs> I think she likes it. Definitely is enjoying that. She just woke up from brumation recently and it's starting to pound the food. This is a yeah, anery, stands for anatheristic, which is no red pigment. They lack red pigment. So this is a red tegu with no red. Um, she needs a shed though, and she's gonna look totally different once she sheds. I knew he'd kind of come rushing out. This is a Pure blue this is from Topaz and Shakira, our albino female. It's looking great. Future breeder, future stud. Just waking up from brumation as well. These juveniles, they wake up hungry. <laughs> they wake up ready to go. So you can see that. Let me. Oh, hey, but he's in feeding mode, so I'm gonna give him some space. <laughs> your, your plate's over there. This is not your plate. He's thinking of coming out. It'd be okay if he did. He jumps out sometimes and goes back in. Just wanted to get his dirty plate out. See, I don't know if it picks it up on camera, but he is so blue in person, especially outside, but even in his enclosure. Just a very blue, blue tegu. Beautiful. But as you can see, they're loving the meat mix. Check out that video if you haven't seen it yet. It's the last one we posted. Hope you guys enjoyed this huge update video. Really, it's what it's turned into. Um, we got to see Rosie the Rhino feed the baker eye and see the babies um you guys haven't seen them since they've hatched and feed some of the tegu mix that we made in the last video to some of our juvenile tegus that are waking up from brumation so it's an exciting time spring is right around the corner i'm i'm pumped for this breeding season i'm going to give it my all and we're going to document it for you guys so if you're excited about that you want to follow along see see what it's like to be a reptile breeder then go ahead and hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.